There's this idea that everything is chemically and atomically connected to all atoms in the universe. That the atoms in our bodies are traceable to stars that have exploded billions of years ago all across our galaxy. We are not figuratively, but literally, stardust. They say timing is impeccable. I believe everything happens for a reason. And I believe timing controls everything in the universe. And every so often, every star in the galaxy aligns perfectly, creating this catastrophic miracle of love. We were this perfect storm, her and I. We seemed to have it all. The adventure, companionship, wonder, passion, love. We were supernovas with infinite capacities. It was as if our hearts were made from the same atoms. We connected in such a way that made time stop instantly. Every atom, every molecule in the atmosphere all combined together in the most perfect harmony. It was true love. We were destined to meet at that exact moment in time. And when we did, we just couldn't stop our explosion. We were a colossal mess, but we were magic across the sky. We were this beautiful explosion within the universe. And then we were nothing. But maybe the beauty is in the attempt. And maybe it's not about the catastrophic ending, but the sheer fact that we were shooting stars that collided, that we happened in this vast and infinite universe. <sighs> but our love wasn't quite like we hoped it would be, no. We weren't a classic fairy tale couple, and we didn't live happily ever after. No, she wasn't even ever mine. Not a next, or even a next, but an almost. We almost became, but our love simply burned too bright, and all that was left was our stardust. But our love. Our love was really something though. Our love was a real life version of Romeo and Juliet. We were the two star-crossed lovers who lost it all. So I guess Shakespeare really did have love all figured out. When two bright indefinite forces meet, they destroy one another. we were this radiant explosion among the cosmos. And now, we're just stardust. I wish I could tell you how sorry I am. Or that I miss you with every fragment of infinity. Maybe our hearts will catch fire again 
and create another explosion within the universe. But I don't know if that's true. I don't know if you'll ever come back. I don't know if I'll ever see you again. explosion. But until then, I will always have your stardust. And like my memories, you will always be a part of me.